हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा कृष्ण कृष्णा हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा कृष्ण कृष्ण हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 Sam, we must 
दशरथ नंदन राम जान की जीवन राम जय राम राम राम
सागर के लहरे राम के गेस नाते पल पल सागर के लहरे राम के गीत सुनाते करम का धागा मन का मन का राम के माला बनाए रे करम का धागा
श्रीरामचंद्र आश्रित पारिजात है समस्त कल्याण गुना भिराम सीता मुखाबरूह चंचरी का निरंतर मंगलनायका
Om Namo Narayana to revered Mataji and dear friends. The Ramayana is one of the greatest classics of not only Indian literature, but of world literature. The teachings of the Vedas are reflected and revealed in the lives of Sri Ram, Mother Sita, Lakshmana, Bharata, Hanumanji, and the many other characters in the Ramayana. Written in exquisite poetry, its message is for all people and for all time. Swami Ranganathanandaji, the 13th president of the Ramakrishna Mathid mission, states that the Ramayana and the Mahabharata have guided and influenced every aspect of Hindu life and culture from social customs and norms to religious rituals and practices and prayers. The Ramayana also shows a sophistication in politics and philosophy, which was practiced a few thousand years ago. The entire world has been affected by war, crime, conflict, and the pandemic. Let us see how the Ramayana can help and guide us in these difficult times that we live in and what practical solutions it offers. The first lesson we can immediately relate to is Hanumanji's search for the Sanjeevani herb to assist Lakshmana after he was injured. Hanumanji brings the entire gambit of herbs and vegetation because he cannot distinguish the correct one. He then leaves it to the expert to choose to apply the correct medicine. We are in a similar situation in that many of us are still suspicious and hesitant in taking the vaccine to protect ourselves from the COVID-19 virus. Apparently, we have to prepare for more variants of the virus and have to be guided by science and the experts to take more vaccines. Some say the vaccine might be an annual event. Thus, we also have to be guided by science and the ex experts to protect ourselves medically. Hanumanji is the ideal example of obedience and loyalty. Gurus and experts play a vital role in the Ramayana. We have to develop the habit of humility and bowing down to experts who are wiser than us in many different aspects of life. From the very beginning of the Ramayana, when Naraji proved to Ratnakar that his family will not share in his sins and that he needs to pray and meditate for his own salvation, Ratnakar did not go into a detailed debate with Naraji. He simply and with total concentration and dedication began his sadhana until he became Valmiki and produced this timeless classic. We live during a time of daily tension, crime and conflict. However, India itself went through foreign rule for about a thousand years. During this entire time of personal and political pain, devotees found comfort and solace in the Ramayana. We know from history that there will always be challenges and difficulties in life and in the world. Swami Vivekananda states that these difficulties are like a dog's tail and will never be straightened. One of the most important goals in religious life is having faith and devotion to God. If one has faith, one has all. However, there are some who still ask, did Sri Ram exist? Did the events of the Ramayana actually take place? Swami Vivekananda gives a perfect explanation. He states, always know and understand that Sri Ram represents God, Brahman. Mother Sita is the individual soul, the Atman. Lakshmana is Maya. The individual soul is captured in Lanka, which is the body, which is governed by the three gunas. Sattva, represented by Vibhishana, Tamas, represented by Kumbhakarna, and Rajas represented by Ravana. Similarly, the Bhagavad Gita takes place within each individual. Sri Krishna is our conscience and the higher self 
and Arjuna is the individual and the lower self. The Hindu scriptures must be made personal and relevant to our daily lives. One must know the actual stories of the Ramayana so that one can relate it to children. And over a period of time, we ourselves see layers of meanings in the scripture. There are many versions of the Ramayana all over India, but they all have a sense of beauty and appeal to make whatever language you speak or, or, or whatever place you come from attractive. This magnetic appeal is because of the depth and truth of its teachings. The power and depth of purity of Mother Sita keeps Ravana and all other evil forces away from her. The only duty of Mother Sita is to be in one place and pray to God in the form of Sri Ram, who will find her and rescue her. Devotees always ask, what is the best method of prayer to be most devoted to God? In this regard, Mother Sita is the ideal devotee, an ideal example to be followed. She stayed in one place and continuously repeated the name of Sri Ram and prayed for Sri Ram to rescue her. She was surrounded by demons and temptations. Sri Krishna in the Bhagavad Gita assures us that God never forsakes his devotees. Similarly, in the Ramayana, Mother Sita is rescued and was never forsaken by Sri Ram. The other aspect that is overlooked is that demons are very strong and powerful and probably had many powers. Mother Sita only had her love and devotion and purity to Sri Ram, and that was enough to keep the demons and temptations at bay, especially purity. Swami Vivekananda states that one needs purity, patience, and perseverance, and above all, love to progress spiritually. And we see these qualities personified in Mother Sita, immense purity and immense perseverance. Hanumanji also had to go through many challenges over which he very successfully achieved victory. After he was reminded of his strength and power by Jambavan, he never looked back until he discovered Mother Sita in the Ashoka Grove. Although his tribe substantially built the bridge, one can never forget the squirrel who also contributed in building the bridge. Shishada Devi teaches that everyone is great in his own place. Nobody is higher, stronger, or better than anyone else. We all have our duties to perform. This does not justify the caste system as it is often misinterpreted. Sri Ram embraced Guha and was not concerned with his caste. Likewise, Sri Ram was not concerned with the caste of Shabari. It is a pity that caste has once again reared its ugly head and we, we must do everything possible to eradicate it. Shabari waited for years for Sri Ram because she had faith in the words of her guru that she will meet Sri Ram. She cleaned and kept pure her home every day, thinking Sri Ram will come on that day. Swami Brahmananda had, had his disciple to, him, to whom he once said that he wished to visit his quarters. The disciple was surprised and said he needs a few minutes to clean the place. Swami Brahmananda said, one must expect the Lord at all times. Holy Mother also had a similar teaching that one must be regular in one sadhana because you do not know when the God will visit you. Hanumanji represents the guru who brings the mantra and message of wisdom in the form of the ring from God, that is Sri Ram, to the individual Atman, that is Mother Sita. Victory is the joining of the Atman to Brahman. Language is of vital importance in communication. The language used in the Ramayana, its poetry, its subtlety, its beauty, is what makes it eternally attractive. One can be inspired by the Ramayana by reading a comic book or by following the popular DVDs. However, one can only appreciate its timelessness by reading and listening to it. Thus, one can increase one's devotion and faith by choosing any social media, and one can also acquire faith by following its symbology and philosophy. From the very beginning of the Ramayana, when the four princes are born, 
Both Valmiki and Tulsidas emphasize that children must be brought up in a loyal, loving family environment. When the princes are old enough, they are sent to a gurukul to be properly educated by experts. Even today, children are sent to preschool from the age of three and should be encouraged to be taught in a systematic and incremental manner. When Vishwamitra requested Dasrata to send Sri Ram and Lakshman, who were barely 16 years old, to accompany him to destroy the evil demons, one has to consider that he could have requested Dasrata to send his army, which was extremely powerful, to destroy the demons. Indeed, Sage Vishwamitra himself was a Brahma Rishi, and he himself could have easily destroyed the demons. But he needed to have the opportunity to teach Sri Rama certain mantras and techniques for his eventual purpose in life, which was to destroy Ravana. Of course, the further purpose of Sage Vishwamitra was to introduce and assist Sri Ram in meeting Mother Sita. Once again, one observes the obedience of Dasrata the king to the guru. Mother Sita sets the ideal example of being absolutely loyal to Sri Ram. She gave up all her luxuries of being princess and queen to be at the side of, of Sri Ram and live as an ascetic in the forest. Her only desire was to be at the side of Sri Ram. And needless to say, without her presence, the Ramayana would certainly be incomplete and imperfect. Even though Dasrata had four wives, the ideal to be followed is the loyalty and dedication of Sri Ram and Mother Sita to each other. This virtue and loyalty is the backbone of the family in the modern day. Without it, one has broken homes that eventually lead to immorality and to children not enjoying the love and affection of both parents and the elderly occupying old age homes. Although many of the families in the Ramayana had their own problems, they always had a deep respect and love for each other. None of us like the banishment of Mother Sita, but she appreciated that the role of the king and the example to be set by the king is of paramount importance. Hopefully our modern day leaders will follow a similar example all over the world. Finally, there are many teachings in the Ramayana that resonate with us, but the four most important are, firstly, Sri Ram setting an example as an ideal son and keeping the word of his father. Secondly, Sri Ram's meeting with the various saints and sages and devotees on his way to destroy Ravana. Thirdly, the actual killing of Ravana, which is the main purpose of the Ramayana, and all incidents and events leading to that end. Finally, proving Mother Sita's chastity, chastity through all time, and we marvel at her purity and strength. Jai Sri Ram. Thank you. 
Dear sisters and brothers, during these auspicious days, we feel blessed to glorify God together as thousands of devotees sing the praises of Sri Ram. Let us read the meaning of some of the verses that were chanted from the Baal Kand of the Ramayana. The gods and earth were terror stricken by the atrocities of King Ravan. Hearing their loving entreaties, a solemn voice dispelled their doubt and anxiety. It said, Fear not, O sages, for your sake I will be born as man with every element of my divinity incarnate. I shall incarnate as four brothers in the royal palace of King Dashrath and Queen Kaushalya. I shall relieve the earth of all its burden. Fear not. May the Supreme Lord shower his grace on us so that we can have peace on earth. May we enjoy repeating the name of God and feel peace within. Ooh, shanti. Shanti, Shanti. Jai Mahamai Ki Jai, Jai. 
स्वामी जी महाराज की जय गंगा मात की जय महावीर स्वामी जी की जय सर्व ऋषि मुनि की जय पार्वती पत हर हर महादेव की जय ओम नमो